Welcome to the GeoJet Plus tutorial series. In this session, you'll see how easy it is for your field teams to use the GeoJet Plus app. We know that a lot of times field teams aren't real comfortable with technology. Sometimes they'd just rather have a pencil and a notepad and scribble down notes about what they're taking pictures of. And while that might make them more comfortable, we also know back in the office, the person having to decode those notes and associate each note with a photo is usually in for an awful lot of work. A lot of times, you wind up with just piles of things that can't ever really be used. And so the GeoJot app was designed with you all in mind. It's easy for the field teams to use, and it allows a way to create consistent um, data for the person back in the office. So I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration. We're going to do it from the field person perspective, and we're going to show you on an Android device. Now, this demonstration is assuming that someone has already set up the Android device with the GeoJot app, which you see in the upper left-hand corner. Um, and you've already uh, sent it a list of the attributes that you want to collect by email. So we're going to start by opening up the email. In this case, my supervisor, Stephanie, she's the one who put together the email list. And when we click on the email, we can see it's an attachment right here. When we open the attachment, and we allow GeoJot Plus to use it, that brings this attachment on into GeoJot Plus. So now we leave our email, we go over to GeoJot, and here when we click on the attribute list, we'll see the list that we just imported right there, training videos, site inventory. So we can go ahead and select that so that's the one that we will use. Now we're going to go back to the home page, and we're going to take our first photo. In this case, as I might have mentioned, we're using a sign inventory as our sample. So we're taking a picture of a sign. And as soon as you take the picture, up comes that list that you imported. And this is a place where the field team can enter data about the sign they just took a picture of. We have quite a few fields here. I'm just going to go through the first four to show you some specific features. So the first attribute we're going to collect is the sign type. In this case, Stephanie preloaded it with a drop-down list, which you can see right here. And in this case, I have to choose from something on this list what kind of sign it is. In this case, it's a loading zone sign, so I'll just click on loading zone. And there it is, loading zone, right there. Now, the next one is the barcode. In many places, you use barcodes on signs, and GeoJot Plus is able to read in the barcode through the lens of the mobile device by clicking that little icon on the right. Once you do, you'll see the barcode. You just kind of hold it up above, and there you see it's read in the barcode as a number. When you click Done when you're done, you go back to the list. Uh, the next one is the action required. You see that little star by the icon? That means that this is a required field. So if I were to try and save the photo now, it wouldn't let me because I have to fill out something in that area. Go ahead and click on Action Required. And now I see that this sign's in pretty bad shape. I think we need to replace it, so I'll click on Replace. Next is the comment field. Here you can freeform type whatever comment you want folks to know. This is for things that you can't anticipate ahead of time. In this case, this sign is actually at a dangerous intersection, and we want to flag that so that the person deploying teams to replace the sign will know that information. And on you go. You can see there's quite a few more potential fields. You can have up to 40 different fields. Um, but for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and save it right now. And that's all there is to it. Now you're ready to take your next photo. But before we do that, we're just going to go back and check on our work. We're going to go back to the home screen. And on the Android devices, by the way, you can usually use the back button or you can use the edit button to go uh, to the home screen in different places which is a little bit different than the Apple. Okay, so back on the home screen, we can go to the camera roll. And here you're going to see all the different photos we've taken. I want to call your attention to a couple things. On the left, you see the thumbnail. In the middle, you see some of those attributes, some of the first attributes. And on the right, you see a little bubble. That's a little cloud photo. That means that this photo has already been set up automatically to the cloud. Now, if you, on the lower left of this screen, you see a map. If you click on that, you'll see all of the locations where any of the photos in this camera roll have been taken. GeoJot Plus does save the camera roll photos to its own folder, uh, so you can separate your work photos from your home photos. Now, going back 
to the overall camera roll. Let's pick on a particular picture and I'll show you the up close and personal view. Okay, so here we have again the thumbnail with some of the basic information about the photo. Down below you can see the different attributes. Now imagine I made a mistake and I need to make a correction. I can just uh, click on the attribute. This is one where it's a little bit different. In Android um, you sometimes have to push and hold to edit. But here I can just go ahead and click on something different if I'm wrong about it. And there it is. It's changed it now. Now down below you can also click on the map tab below and you will see your photo here on a map. Now maybe I've noticed that I didn't have great GPS coverage and I don't want to inch it around a little bit. You can drag that icon around and move the actual position of the photo in the field when you're standing there and you know if it's right or not. And then finally I'll go down to the photo. This is where I get a much better look at the photo and make sure I actually took the picture I intended to take. So that's it. That's the overview of the GeoJot Plus app in the field. It's as simple as that. We encourage you to look at the other videos that we've made that give you a lot more detail on the more advanced features. Thank you.